I want to explain what a topographical map is and how you can use elevation changes to your advantage. The first point of elevation change is that on a topo map, you'll have numbers that represent high elevation and low elevation. For example, 1,400 feet would be a dark red line. And then you have small, thinner red lines that indicate a 20-foot change in elevation down to 1,300 feet, 1,200 feet, 1,100 feet. The importance of a topographical map is that it allows you to pinpoint deer movement. And very quickly, you can notice elevation change and how it might relate to your hunt. I want to talk about some topographical features that you might find very important when you're studying a topo map. And the first one is a bench system. And I like to refer to benches often picture a giant sitting on the side of a ridge and it offers them a flat spot to park himself and sit. If you look at those red lines where I talk about 20 foot increments and change, when those lines are close together, it's very steep. At some point, you'll see those lines widen and that indicates a bench on the side of a ridge. Now a ridge or a point, you can see that extending from up high and those higher elevations. A point might extend halfway down the hill and then drop off sharply. And a ridge system might stay at a consistent elevation. But within those elevation changes in those long ridge systems or points, you'll find low spots. So imagine a low spot in a long ridge that's otherwise consistent, and that's referred to as a saddle. A saddle, picture someone sitting on a horse on a saddle, that's a low spot. It goes up in the front and up in the back, and deer can travel across that and not be exposed. And then finally, I love to find flats. Flats on the top of a ridge where it's wider and more open, and flats down in the bottom where there's otherwise steep terrain. And you'll find whether it's a flat, a bench, a saddle, or on the sides of ridges or points, that's where deer really like to move. With the aid of elevation changes, you can look at habitat and those topographical features to define deer movement. Deer love to cruise across the top of a ridge on a saddle through draws or ditches that relate to benches and then finally flats. You can literally look at a topo map from your couch and say, this is where I want to map, this is where I want to mark and scout these features. And then you can put it all together before you ever enter the woods and make it very efficient for you to scout and find great places to hunt this fall.